In this lesson, I just want to show you how to remove the trunk from this tree. If I go into wireframe mode, you can see it's one single curve, like so. And we just want to separate this trunk area away from the tree area. Let's go back to solid view. It's very easy to do. What you do is you draw out a rectangle by clicking here and clicking rectangle. And you draw it out roughly where you want it to cross over or where you want to split the two pieces apart, like so. And you can see I've drawn that rectangle over the tree. If I go back to wireframe mode, you can see it's just a rectangle over the tree. Back to solid view. What I want to do now is I want to duplicate the tree and the rectangle and move it over to the right. Now you can see up here I've set my nudge to 5 inches because this is approximately 5 inches wide. So what I can do is just draw a marquee over both of those like that. And come up to this button up here. Duplicate. And if I press duplicate here or I press the plus button on my keyboard next to the number pad, I just press this button. I've got a perfect duplicate over the top of this now. So what I can do now is press my right arrow key on my keyboard. So my right arrow key, if I press that once, you can see it's moved it off the five inches based on the nudge value I've set up here. So now I've got two trees and two rectangles as you can see. And what I want to do is take this rectangle here and this sizing node, left click and drag it up so it goes over the whole tree like so, and I'll go back to wireframe mode and you can see I've got two rectangles and two trees and what I want to do is punch out both these rectangles from both of these trees and I'll show you how to do that back to solid view so I select this rectangle hold down my shift key and then select the uh, tree by left clicking on it so now both are selected come out to this flyout and you'll see punch out if I click punch out you'll see what's happened is, is the rectangle has been punched out of the tree back in wireframe mode you can see where it's, it's split it off here so I can stay in wireframe mode, select this tree, select this rectangle, do exactly the same thing, punch out. And now I've got a trunk and I've got a tree and they're separated. And if I select that trunk or that tree, I've got the nudge of five inches. If I, right, if I click on the right arrow, you can see it moves it into position or where it was. If I select on the trunk and hit my left arrow, it moves it to that position. And if I zoom in, you can see I've got this piece and this piece and the uh, person on the forum who asked about this they said they wanted a green tree so I'll just go back into solid mode they wanted a green tree like so with a brown trunk uh, yeah, it's not a great colour brown but anyway that's the brown trunk we've got oh maybe this side's more red isn't it so you can always click on this and find a nice brown colour here we go so here we go we've got a green tree with a brown trunk and of course we can come in here if I zoom in here we can actually use the node edit tool and we can sort of fiddle around with this and make it a little bit different if we want to drag out the trunk like so so it looks a bit more like a, a natural tree if I left click zoom out if I left click on the tree trunk and, and bring it to the front by clicking on the order uh, to front and zoom back in you can see I can make that look a bit like sort of a leafy situation like so right click on those just to make them a like curves and fiddle around and before you know it you can make that look like you want it to and you've got the two separate pieces which is shown in wireframe like so and that's how you can easily separate um, one curve from itself and to make uh, separate sections that's into this lesson thank you